guys, guess who I have on the couch? <laughs> a dear friend of mine. He's an author, writer, entrepreneur, philanthropist. I can go on and on. Guys, can you believe this guy came all the way from Abuja for me to be on my couch? I feel so... I'm going to cry. Special? Yeah. <laughs> JJ Omachua. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Jay. I really it's appreciate it. It's such a pleasure. You're good people. I know you have your schedule. Oh, you can't be in Lagos <laughs> at any time, but you came all the way from me. Yeah. I Thank mean, you. You're good people. So, it's Jay, easy. let's get right into it. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you're my friend. I know you. I know you, you know. I mean, I know you personally, but I haven't really asked you this question. So I mm. have the opportunity to ask you on my couch. How did it start? So now you're like, I mean, you're part of the voice of the new generation. Mm. Whether you like it or not, I know you don't like to blow your trumpet, but whatever you say mm. holds weight. How did you, how did it start? How did you get to this point? Really and truly, first of all, let me just make it, um, let me do some clarification. I don't go out to say I'm anybody's voice, okay. I'm my own voice. I'm privileged and grateful that some people find understanding and meaning in the things that I say, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to go out there and say I'm the voice of a, an entire generation. Mm -hmm. I think that's such a big deal and I, I don't think anybody... But you're a big deal, my friend. I know you would not accept it, but my, my fans out there would accept it. Well, you're, you're biased, though. You're I'm not biased, biased Jay. You know I say as it is. I mean, aside anyways, the fact that I'll, you influence me, I know you influence a lot I, of people. How did it start? I think really and truly, it started out from very being very intentional okay. about my personality about the fact that I wanted to be known for what's in my head. Okay. And if, if anything at all, to never be caught slacking, yeah. um, to, to always be ready. And I also found myself in a situation where I knew from the very beginning that there was no room for bullshit. Mm -hmm. I had to have it. I had to be sound. And also the fact that I was very, very conscious of, of the fact that I had the word as a tough, and so as much as I wanted to do things that would inspire people in Nigeria, I always was interested in um, having my pre presence, my essence, my personality way beyond the borders of this country. So it's such a privilege to be here, really. And thanks for hosting me. I don't <laughs> take it for granted. <laughs> See, Jay, you, yeah. you have, you're, you're largely involved in politics. Because, I mean, yeah, you're largely involved in a lot of things. And now I know you're hosting the AFCON. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such it's My of fun. My friend is yeah. a big deal. It's such fun. Jay, you know something when I go out and I'm like, yeah. he's my friend. <laughs> are you for real, though? I, I, you know, I don't always uh, show you this part. Cause I don't yeah, because you are the celebrity. I'm not the celebrity. What is so. that? Jay, Jay <laughs> anyways, before the end of this show, I'll tell you guys how dear Jay is to my yeah. heart. So you guys will know. But okay, yeah. you're largely involved in politics and, you know, are you are you in any political party? No, no, no. 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 But do Not you yet. do you have your PVC? Yeah, I've I've had my PVC for for 30, um, 11 years now since two thousand and eleven. Um, Esther, do you mm. have a PVC? A permanent PVC. Eh? Permanent. I said, producer, do you have your PVC? Um, Zafi, you get PVC. Permanent. Yeah. You have your PVC. I know exactly you know? where my PVC is in my room right but now. But Jay, do you say that some people still don't have their PVC? You, you've got to get your PVC. So Children. personally, I'm not one of these people that thinks that um, having the PVC solves all the problems because ultimately, you're not going to vote beyond the people that are on the ballot. And you know, unfortunately, too many times the ballot is a choice between bad and worse, rather than a choice between good and bad. But I we'll know, come to that. I hopefully, know, I know. Yeah. But then we'll, mm. we'll definitely. But let me just mm. touch it. Regardless, regardless. Yeah, have your PVC. That's the lowest point of have engagement. Your, yes, have yeah. your PVC. See, yeah. forget this whole your vote doesn't count. Go. It's no, your no. Right. Don't even be daft and stupid. Go and You've vote. You've got to have your PVC. Yeah, go You've and vote. You've got to have your PVC. It's your right. Go out there and vote. Your mm. vote counts. So PVC for me, PVC for me is like life. So they say, oh, things are bad. Women don't. Women don't have. In, the women are not included. Young people are not included. Blah blah blah. PVC is that point where, what if they decide to pick a young person? What if they decide to pick a woman, and they are doing it on merit? Are you going to be on the table? Mm -hmm. So PVT is your first layer of engagement okay. with the system. So whether you think votes count or not, have your yes. PVC. I'm going to vote. Have your PVC. <laughs> but I can tell you for free, I can tell you for free, every popular candidate win elections in Nigeria now. Rigging still happens, 
But if a candidate is really and truly popular, they cannot be rigged out because things have changed. We're in 2022, yeah, and thankfully, future. technology moved faster than election riggers. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that free of charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, please. I mean, the fact that I have Jake. So my show is. It's. It's. I'm, I'm trying to not limit myself. Yeah. You know, on this show, on my couch. You're unlimited, though. I mean, in every sense of the <laughs> On my couch, I want to be able to have different conversations and have conversations with different friends of mine from different walks of life. But then, please go and get your, um, your PVC and vote because regardless of what anybody says, your vote counts and it's your right. It's, no questions about it. Yeah, you've no got questions to get about PVC. it. You, you heard it from Jay. You've got, to, mean, you've got to really. Have yeah. PVC. So, Jay, because of your social media presence, has. Any party candidate reach out? I mean, we're, we're just, I mean, I know you don't want to dive into it, but. Yeah, I don't mind. Do, really. you, do you have any, I don't, I don't need, we don't need to call names, you yeah, know, because I, yeah. I, I think let's have this show and just ch chit chat and not call names. Yeah. That's what I think is best. It's just safer. Yeah. We don't, because we're not trying to, sup, we're not coming here to come and for you guys think we're trying to influence you. No, no, no. Nobody I'm not imposing any we're candidate not imposing, on anybody. But, this I mean, has around. anybody reached out? Interestingly, and, the, the, um, the side of the political, so two major, um, groups have reached out, but the side that keeps reaching out is the side I will never find myself back in. Okay. Um, okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Let's leave it. Let's the side leave that it keeps that. reaching yeah, out, yeah, which that. which shows you that sometimes when we complain about good people not coming out for elections, let's give credit to the bad people. They actually work hard. The devil works hard. Mm -hmm. The devil mm -hmm. works hard. Give the devil their credit. Okay. I'm, I'm, I really want to hurry and rush up this police. What yeah. what 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 do you what do, what would you advise? Um, people, the youth, what we would like people to look out for in getting their candidates for this year? First of all, is to year. say that don't be obsessed about who you don't want. Okay. That's too easy. Everybody in the world, they know exactly what they don't want and who they don't want. Mm -hmm. The higher layer to that is what do you want? You know, and that's why most protest songs in Nigeria is we know go agree, yo, we know go agree. Mm -hmm. We don't want this to happen. We don't want this to happen. Because on the positive. That's the lowest layer. That's the lowest layer. Mm. You've got to start having conversations about who you want. And having said that, to also say that who you want is unlikely in the context of Nigeria's politics and actually politics globally is unlikely to be perfect. It's unlikely to fit. It's like, it's like a woman or a man saying, oh, this is my speck of a man or my speck of a woman. You'll be 70 years old. 70 years old man, mm -hmm. before you realize you are not God, mm -hmm. you didn't design any human being, you're never going to get your spec. So who you want is, is, is not going to be that perfect person, but in the grand scheme of things, it might be the person that fits in the context of Nigeria and Nigeria's present needs and current needs that fits the bill. Mm -hmm. So too many times on social media, people are actually obsessed about who they don't want, it, always talking about it, but what you actually do is elevate that person elevates the conversation around that person mm -hmm. and in politics as in uh, as in you know entertainment and celebrity ship when you talk about someone you do them justice mm -hmm. it does not matter whether you you say negative or positive things about them it's like it's like the brain if i tell you don't think about a red car you think about a red car because yeah. when it comes to publicity negative or positive does not apply Presence is what matters. You advised me on that. Yeah. So, yeah I, I get yeah. it. I, yeah. I mean, I understand it. Because at the end of the day, people will talk regardless, good or bad. So, yeah. I don't, according to you, when you tell me, no problem, just as far as they're talking. Just write it, man. Just write it, yeah. right? So, it means, I, what I got from what you just said now is if you have a candidate, focus your energy on who you're go going for. Yeah. Forget what the other person is doing to distract you. Yeah. Forget dragging, just focus on who you are, you want. And Elevate your candidate, yeah. carry yourself. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it applies in your life too. Mm -hmm. Because I, I found that too many times people are more obsessed about what they don't want to happen and, and what they don't like. And it's not, it's not your fault as a person. It's actually psychological. It's called negativity bias. Our brain is obsessed with the negative. Mm -hmm. So you have to, so for instance, if you have an Instagram picture, you posted something on Instagram and 5,000 people like it, mm -hmm. and you have 20,000 comments. Your brain is paying more attention to the person that said, That's see, why your leg can't bend I for know. here? So it's, it's called negativity bias. There's nothing extraordinary about it. You're a proper human being, it's normal. <laughs> but once you recognize that you're able to make yourself go in a different direction, which is to understand that more often than not, 
there are more people that like you, there are more mm -hmm. people that are positive. So you have to by intentionally focus on the positive because by default your brain is focused on the negative. It's called negativity bias. Mm. If you didn't learn anything on this show, you've got to learn this particular one. Yes. Negativity bias. Yes, it bro. moves you, Tell it controls them. you, mm -hmm. and it helps you decide the choices or not decide the choices that matter because you're constantly refusing to lose when you should be focusing on winning. Mm -hmm. But this is not a show on psychology. So let me start. I that. remember those times when I'll call you and say you know, this is happening, that is happening, I'm losing my mind, blah, 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 blah. And then you tell me, you ask, you ask me, you're like, do you know these people? I'm like, no. Do you have any person? I'm like, no. Do you think you ever see some of these people? I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, so what's the problem? Am I your friend? Yes. Do I love you? Yes. Okay, so I love you. Your family love you. Your free friends love you. So what are you, what are you, what's your, what you, and guess what? I, you know, sometimes having friends that yeah. are very positive yeah. minded, I think it's just such a beautiful place to be because they always, whenever you want to go into that negative zone, they always know how to snap you out of it. So I always remember, I always tell myself, that's why now, Jay, I'm not even, I really don't care. I'm not yeah. even saying it to be cocky or I really don't care what anybody though. thinks about me because I don't care. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't. It means you keep thinking, no matter what I do, you keep thinking whatever you think. Your opinion of me is still your you opinion. Shouldn't. And I mean, it will MI, not change. MI, MI said it well. I think it was MI and Two Face. If nobody talks about, about you, you, then you're nobody. When you are when you are in flight, mm -hmm. more people see you. Mm -hmm. So you are automatically a target. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be a target, stay in the dark. And I mean, and yeah, just there. be there. If you're in the dark, nobody sees you, nobody cares. But once you're up there, I mean, Mother Teresa, Mandela, all these guys, Martin Luther King, go on the internet, you actually mm -hmm. find criticisms about them. There's okay. no human being. I mean, let's not talk about deity, whether it's Prophet Muhammad or Jesus Christ, or even God himself yeah, yeah. or herself, whoever. I don't know yeah. God's sex. So bottom line is really that once you're out there, once the light shines on you, you've got to be ready to take it. But always remember that your brain by default pays attention to the negative and you've got to intentionally focus on the positive. I tell you, because now I intentionally genuinely... See, yeah, Jay, I don't go out of my way to look at what's not my business. Like, I don't want to see... My explore, I mute, mute, mute. Yeah. If I see I'm that you're not time. even in line with my progress or you know, I just mute you and block you. I don't even, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, I don't even, I don't yeah, want to even see the, yeah. bro, it's just Life positive. Life is too short for bullshit. Do you know, I sometimes don't, because now I've been dealing with this whole posting and anxiety, you know, just dealing with this, this social media, I've just been really yeah. exhausted. Tired. There's a design to social media, and you've you've got to be in charge of it. Yeah. You've got, if you're you not in charge to. of it, then it is it's in charge of you. There's yeah, no middle ground. Yeah, because it almost messed me up. Yeah, there's no I know ground. I I have gone there. I've gone through it. I yeah. I literally went into fire and came out. Yeah. So I think I'm a in a very strong place to tell anyone that social media has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. So it means it can break you, and it can also make you in terms of like work, career, For like sure. your business. But then you have to protect your mind. Jay, my my head space is just God work and um, people I love. I don't even have space like for... Oh, well, you know, Jay, you know now. <laughs> now, God, oh, mm. like I will end the episode, mm. you must hear God because mm. he's the only one that can help you or save you in the in, when you're I mean, it's not a gospel show, but I, mean, I, I, I respect those that don't believe in God. Um, I was saying on Twitter, I think during the week, that I, I don't delve into arguments about whether God exists or does not exist mm -hmm. because my the reality... My reality the things that have happened to me, they cannot be coincidences. Yeah. There's definitely a super force. There's definitely a much higher force. Mm -hmm. and you know, and whether you call it God or you call it a little Mary and whatever else you call it, there's definitely something yeah. much more powerful than I am, than you are, mm -hmm. that, that moves the universe mm -hmm. in unusual ways. And some other people say it's coincidence. So for people that don't believe in God, maybe theirs is coincidence. Whatever for me, you in, it cannot be coincidence. But I mean, we're not here to preach, preach but I mean, yeah. just saying, like, Jay, 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 are you hungry? Um, so I'm actually bad with food. You would have noticed that yeah, when you were like asking food. me what would you like to eat, yeah, like I was I like, look, anything. anything. <laughs> like, yeah, I just have uh, picked I I Really and truly, food is one of those things that I wish was not necessary. I know, because you don't like to eat. I, I, mean, I wish food was not necessary. Weight. I think you've been eating. Ah, that's, you a, ate that's a bad thing, no. Maybe it's Christmas. No, just I, I wish food Christmas. was not necessary. If, if we could live without food, I'm 100% certain I would know. not eat I anything. Know. I can be with Jay and because I'm a foodie. I like to eat. I can eat seven times a day. Oh God, 
You're not supposed to sit on my shoulder. Mm. Privilege, I was saying, mm. like, you have to be classy. So, for that. me, I eat to be alive. Um, there's nothing special about food for me. I, I sometimes, not jealous, but I'm like, ah, the way some people act with food. If I you want to talk to me, eh? talk <laughs> to me direct. Don't go through the corners. You want to cause me? Cause me. <laughs> not because, no. Nah. Because you know what I'm not saying, saying, you know, but sometimes I wish I could be that person, but really, <laughs> like, food, food is nothing to me. Food is nothing like I have. Okay, but let's just. I'm, I'm grateful for food that it keeps us alive. You but can I eat wish because had of no me, because you know my show is mm. drink. I eat, mean, I, I have to eat because if I don't eat, I die. So. <laughs> <laughs> guys, okay, guys, I'm gonna get the food and we're gonna dive in and continue this episode. Stay tuned. Jay, yeah. I like plantain. I mean, I it's interesting. I haven't said that I'm not like into food and all of that. And I have to say, by the way, that if you serve rice without plantain, it doesn't go well, eh? You're doing the wrong thing. I know. Yeah. Really and truly, you're mm. doing the wrong thing. Let me thing. test this talking. This, the, so this lady's food, by the way, it's, mm. she's in Koya. She cooks. She delivers. The same one in Abuja? No, she, she in Abuja. Nkoya, are you in Abuja? No, I don't think ah, so. Um, if it's not the same Nkoya, you better change your name because Nkoya don't do. My very name. But well, this is good, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh. The thing about plantain is that even when you're not feeling like eating, you go like plantain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go like plantain. It's like gari. Like, it's like gari. So. There's no season. Do you like those soft, very soft ones? I don't like soft plantain. No, no, no. Plantain, I don't know how to describe it. It should be like the boundary of bones and not bones. It's like jello fries. Mm -hmm. It's not bones, mm -hmm. but it's bones. I don't like bones. I just the like, thing about like this strong. thing is that you can't explain it. <laughs> you have to be there. You test the stress. Very nice. Test the stress. I know you don't like to eat. You need to eat. You have to be there. You need to eat. I have enough strength for the things that matter. Hey, my friend. Um, this, they don't know. You know these people that well, like they don't, they don't know you have fun. Right. You, know, you know you're very uptight. Am I uptight though? Okay, yeah, publicly, uptight. publicly. People don't even. Do you know some people don't know what you look like? I'm, I'm hiding in plain sight. But do you know some people don't know what you look like? Because oh, you know, even your Instagram. Too. You're on Instagram, you know you, you're very... I'm hiding in plain sight. I, for me, I, I believe people should only know what they're supposed to know. Uh -uh. The rest of it for me and those that are supposed to know. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Who are these those that are supposed to know? Individual boxes. Why don't you like to go out? It's funny because the fact that you don't know something happens does not mean that thing does not happen. Like the fact okay. that a, a tree has dropped in the forest and nobody was there. Did the tree drop though? It dropped. It dropped. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It dropped. Mm. It dropped. Uh -uh. So I go out, but for me, these moments are private. private. They're personal. They're for friends, you know, for the media. Mm -hmm. One thing about me, I don't want to be a celebrity. I don't want to be famous. If I could make... Oh, you're famous, but continue. I don't know, but if I could make all the money and influence all the people I can influence without having to be known, you know, mm -hmm. in that way, I'd rather do it. Um, fame is pain. Yeah, fame, is, in my yeah. opinion, is unnecessary. Okay. Um, disgusting. Uh, uh, I mean, so, no, it's not fame, oh. Some of us, me, I like fame. I can fame. tell you for free. I can mm -hmm. tell you for fame free. Is, I, I, I'd also say that if you could... If you could have the things that fame gives you without fame, you would actually take them without fame. I mean, fame. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, so I yeah, so I actually go way. out though. I go out. I go out. Um, Taking you out tonight. Are you coming? Pop, pop. I'm gonna pop you want some me to champagne, come? baby. I mean, if you're coming, both of us can come at the same time. <laughs> to go out. To <laughs> go out. are you meant to come? <laughs> <laughs> to go out. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, yeah. I mean, if why so not? So both of us can come together and there go no, out. There's no danger in both of us coming hmm. together. Hey, this vibe is on vibe. But who gets there first, though? I mean, like I going out. Go <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that the question was me coming out to a club, and whether I come out, whatever else you think this is, yeah, really I, and truly is in your head. Yeah, no, no, but why are yeah. you thinking something is in my head? Because all I'm talking about is you coming out. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm coming right. out, and we are going to the club. Because the truth is, why would well, I, come why would I come? Because I'm the one that lives in Lagos. I have to come out. Good first. question, but good point. But why would I come if you're not coming? And I, well, I have to come now. So that's what I'm saying. That if you're oh there, God, if you're there, guy. if you're there, I'll be there. If you're there, I'll be there. Okay, I, so I will not I will wait for you to there. just come and just there hanging. Okay, so it's the important. answer is As a come. man, I have to be there. I have to come. So, boy, I know you have you know, to I come, and I'm going there. to come because I'm the one inviting you to come. And so I'm, it means I have to come. And I'm fully available to come. All you know? right, then let's, I've never let's seen, do that. I've never seen a full-blown, proper, complete man 
that gets an opportunity to come. Especially yeah. if you don't marry. <laughs> producer! That does see, not come. Guy, the producer had this show. You, you can't have to be see. like, like you, can't, you can't keep a woman standing. Yeah, you, because you've got to come well, if you go, say I to already come. said I will come. And I invited yeah. you to come. So what's the problem? What's this argument, That means both of us are coming. It's not an so argument. So we're both it's coming. Clarity. And no, we're no, let's be clear. It's not an argument. It's clarity. <laughs> both of us are coming. Is this job is also not to this place. Because we have to be paid yeah. to come there. I mean, like, Wiz friend. and Davido, like, you know, the love and beautiful hug, you know, we do it. They both came to the place. I get it. But anyways, um... This, this is looking like it's something I don't understand. No, Jay, I don't know what you're talking is, about. Because all we're talking about going out to a club. That's all we're talking about. Okay, so that's I'm it. good because I don't want to be caught in any in you know, miasma. Me, me too. I don't want to be caught me rolling and saying that I'm I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm because there seems girl. to be some grandiloquence in this. Whole um, okay, community. when you start speaking English, JJ, that means it's, it's an exit. I need to look for an exit plan because once you go there, that's it. Is is I cannot win. I'm not going there. We're so, still together. No, no, no. I can't win. So I'm just gonna step back and give you the crown. You win, you won. No, I don't want to win. The crown is just. Oh, you bought your book. I don't know if it's Okay, so uh, yeah. can we move on from this conversation? We we have to because it, it looks like it's getting heated. JJ, but quick one. Yeah. Before quick I one. Like it. Oh my quick god. One. Quick one. Like yeah, quick that's one. what I'm saying. Like, okay, because we, we've been having chilled conversations. All of a sudden, you're like, you want a quick one. I don't want a quick one. I don't like quick quick ones. Okay, but you said oh quick my. one though. You said quick one. I didn't say it. Okay. Just a quick question. Okay, quick question. Okay. Yeah. Jay, yeah. you know I've never really told you. I mean, I've, I've I've said thank you, but I want to appreciate you on this couch. Okay. For all those times I called you, three a.m., mm -hmm. four a.m., two a.m. to cry and you listen and I keep you and even if you want to sleep, you're wondering this guy is not my girlfriend. Why are you keeping me on the phone? Because I know what's in your head, Jay. What would Jesus do? <laughs> what would Jesus what do? What would Jesus do? Jesus mm -hmm. will listen to you. <laughs> 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 Change, I just want to say thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. You've been an amazing friend. Even if we don't agree on almost everything sometimes, but at least we agree on... You stress me out sometimes. But I, mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm only human. <laughs> so then again, I'm only human. Yeah, humans, I don't stress me out. But I'm only human. But do you, will you fly all the way from Abuja for those humans? In less than 24 hours, bro. You're good people, I have to say. Okay. It was, it was an easy decision. Okay. And thank you. I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You've been there for me at my worst. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get at it. At my worst, worst, worst. When I lost my dad, the dad, all the drama, all the trolling, all the... But they'll come for me. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody's there when you're winning. Like, when, when you win, it's even people that don't like you, they're cheering at you. They're, they're making noise. They're celebrating you. So, mm -hmm. I think the essence of a friend in need is a friend indeed. Is because in that situation, that's when you, you can mm -hmm. count those that are going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. Because at that point in time, those that were cheering you on when you were winning, not even because they're wicked. It's just, it's just the nature of human beings to mm -hmm. move on to the next cool bright happy thing mm -hmm. they're not there so for me it's actually a privilege to find myself in situations where i can be there for people when um they need people mm -hmm. they without need people anything to from be there because that's like yeah. amazing yeah. and i know that because i mean you know i have very few friends i really i'm a friendly person but i'm what people don't know i'm someone that i guard my space I'm scared of human beings because I'm scared. I know I'm very soft. I'm, I'm very emotional. I'm scared of getting hot. So I guard myself. I guard my space. Soft as for money? I mean, yeah, I know that. Don't, don't. You have plenty of money. I don't have plenty. You see, no. don't, you don't know if my helper is watching this show. Don't. My helper will not get money. Now they come Go look so you get money because they fear. Mm. Eh, how you much money will I get? Wait and go to no go or tell the law, like, I didn't like it or David or whiskey mm. or whatever. No go bless me. I don't know what I'm saying. This self-pass. They don't get any money they have. Oh, That's what I'm saying. If you get, Guys, let if, me give you one even thing. if you get money, say you tear range, the not be not this range. We don't aspire for Lagos. I mean range, uh -huh. the one way the light be like this. Like my range. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, no disrespect to your yeah. range. I mean the range. The light. You don't see the light. There's a gun in the light. <laughs> no, it cost me. Uh, uh, we're getting there. Uh, what your is range this? is not bad. Talking about range, I don't even get range to start with. I know get range. I don't move past me. Matter. Please don't even start this. Don't uh, even go there. No, no, JJ, you don't always like to admit it, but it's fine. Let's not have this conversation. JJ, it's fine. Guys, 
It starts going to the game session because I'm not. Ah, uh, producer. Producer said no games. Ah. Uh, okay, no games. Yeah, for me, if it's not really, it's not. What's the point? If you're going to do it, let's do it. What's, what's the game? Ah. Uh, oh, guys, thank you so much for coming on my show. Please. Even please. your listeners came on your show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching this show on Lillian's Couch. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Everybody came! Damn, I'm gonna kill Everybody you! Everybody came! Ah, you're still recording! <laughs>